Hi, thanks for joining me. Thanks for checking out the channel, everyone. It's greatly appreciated. Hello from Canada. I hope everyone is well, and I hope your eyes are in the sky, because there's a lot happening these months, and the coming months coming, I tend to feel that a lot will happen too. Bottom left, and yes, the arrow is in this photo on the top. It's just my mouse. You'll see it uh, in this light process, often the light will come up, and this light process just outlines objects, as you see. So my mouse is being outlined, and these invisible, almost invisible pipes are there and can be seen with, through different filtering guys. This is the surface of the moon. Now look at this. Dome shape that goes to a massive pipe, and these pipes go down to many other pipes or tunnels that are at the bottom of this crater. We're in the southern highlands. We're behind Clavius Crater. We're not far from it. I don't know how many miles, how many hundreds of miles or kilometers, but not far. If it was in a photo backed out, we would see Clavius Crater. But look at the cutout lines on this crater, aside from this little town that's down here. Here's an x-ray shot. What are we... Uh, doing when we're doing x-ray is that each level on the surface of the moon is hard to see at the same time and the x-ray shot is showing us the many levels because the moon doesn't have just a main surface at all it has many um, intruding levels that go inwards look at the cutout line here on this crater the straight symmetrical line and to the left the tunnel perfect perfectly symmetrical tunnel when i'm doing the light process and you see uh tunnels but they look all a bit wavy it's that the x-ray shot is getting the smoke or haze over top which is showing the wavy uh but straight pipe underneath so you'll get a straight sort of wave all the, all the way along but in reality None of these pipes are wavy like this. They're all very symmetrical. And in the areas that there are no smoke, you can see them very well. These x-ray shots are extraordinary, and they just don't lie. It's an overall straight-up shot of the surface and very many different levels. Whoops, we just saw four or five there descending, like steps, like we're looking at steps, like right here. Or at times, you'd think we're in the Arizona desert, um, mountain areas where the red rock is and you could see very very uh, earth has many many places where the rocks look like they're manipulated um, whether it be alien manipulated or our ancestors I think we're talking about the same people and here to here again the structures come up it's absolutely incredible and no there are not pipes and tunnels everywhere but yes there are pipes and tunnels that long between and inside of these crevices that just basically can't see them and the blue line that you're seeing there are the pipes and the red and yellow levels are lower levels inside the pink go down inside too there's greens each color depicts a different level here working at the back doing something company industrial it's lit it's lit up here are lots of pockets of lights in this how can I say, they, on top of symmetrical lines, they will build everything crooked. But they're on these platforms at times that I call them that are very symmetrical. And you can clearly see they are built. This beautiful crater, that looks like it has a triangular mountain or two inside of it. Look what's on the edge. This is a tunnel or structure that is curved coming outwards of the surface pointed to the other edge of the crater and has a large like spout on the end or spout looking object on the end there or straight it could be a wall too coming out that is symmetrical and again in this white mysterious construction the lights that are on the surface, I was supposed to, I think it was Metalhead, God, brother, I was supposed to do the, the video and I just, I'm going to keep looking to get better footage because I wasn't able to bring those domes out like I wanted to show you. But don't worry, man, I'm working on it. Now this here is 
a very clear cutout of the surface inside an L shape with structures, geometrical shapes in the bottom. This one too, whether it be a wall, like I said, or something, it's something that's symmetrical that comes out. And it's in this um, crater that's at the bottom side of the moon, Earth side, that we see this beautiful um, two mountainous objects in the center. And one looks very, I, I won't say uh, pyramidal, pyramidal, <laughs> but I'll say it's very uh, pointed, triangular. Now, you see how it looks like that haze over top and the lines, and this is on the surface. Every time you, you will go back in, in the Southern Highlands, and John Leonard Walson knows it way more than me with his uh, magnificent telescope he uses, that um, he must see them. I'm not putting words in his mouth. I'm just assuming John sees these strands or uh, silk-like lines that are on the surface and all basically in the same areas in the mountains there. And they're just always there. No matter, uh, blurry or not, they come out. And in photos, well, of course, in the photo, you're looking at it, and the photo depicts um, a jagged, uh, thicker line that goes across the structures. Well, that is deliberate. The, see, look here, the two holes. Is it two holes? I don't think so. This one here looks like a structure, a massive black wall. And the other one looks like a hole. Here are these dome shapes. In the shadows are where these tunnels, I'm getting tunnels and I'm getting structures, geometrical shapes. It just doesn't end. The light technique here, again, look, right off the bat, you see these three or four rectangular areas in the bottom. And on top of that, you have all these structures, but they're hiding deep down in the darkness. And you don't see them unless you apply a filtering. This one is, this one impresses me so much. You don't just, can't imagine what you're looking at. Uh, it looks like crap, eh? Well, it's a structure. It's a massive pipe coming out. This haze or whatever's over top, we're getting these lines, but you can see through them in this x-ray shot, by the way. You can see the uh, structures through. Here, looking in the dark with the x-ray and the light technique. Oops, what do we see? We see geometrical shapes. And again, walls. There, there are a lot of walls, barriers, if you want, on the surface of the moon. And they're on different levels, so uh, like steps. And amongst that, you see many uh, pipes and tunnels. Look here. This is a dome, uh, a light, you know, those round light spheres on the surface that look round and that are very bright that we can't get in to see them. The spectrum of our eyes, I say it so often, and this is a fact in optometry and in science, the study of eyes, doctors, they all know and teach us, if they're telling the truth, we can't see color in space. We, not from here anyways. We can't see um, something that is very colorful uh, emanating an energy or a light source. We're not going to see it at all uh, as colors. We're going to see uh, bright light. If there's an explosion, a red explosion, your eyes will see a uh, bright white light. You won't see the red explosion if it's massive at all. And like stars, when people post-process photos, why do they post-process photos of stars? Because if not, the nebulae remain white clouds. And when you apply a post-processing, which brings out the natural color in the photo, then you can see um, the authentic color. Whether the color is too yellow or less yellow, yeah, of course that could be. You know our cameras, we take pictures of our shed that's blue and it looks sort of off blue or purple sometimes. Well, it does give you uh, an idea anyways of what color could be on the moon or like we look at Venus or post-process any star pictures. Well, we, I do get an authentic yellow color back from Venus, but at times I get pink back. So what's the virtual color? And now a switch to our moon and the two objects, maybe three objects that I saw at the same time beside it. The, this one here on the left is very big and is very close to the moon. Um, the one on the right is a, very, a bit more spherical one, but again, whether it be a planet passing by in the constellations, I don't think so because I found it pretty close this time and it's uneven and maybe the size of a planetoid? or maybe less, but these are the two objects that you can see in this light technique. And that light, the red light to the left on the top is basically the moon that you're seeing the reflection of it. 
Let's see some other shots and we'll go see this close up. There are um, shapes on this asteroid or object, celestial object. And uh, I wanted to make a video just of this, but I said I'll just fit it in to this one. The more information, the more I get out, the better uh, the videos are packed. So guys, um, have you heard of asteroid 2017 CS? Um, in the Canadian skies, if you're in the north, uh, in northern Canada here, uh, in, as Canadians and probably other uh, countries in the world, most definitely, um, the object, the asteroid, uh, is supposed to be seen from May 28th to June 1st. Well, imagine my luck that I went out on May 27th and I started filming the moon looking for crafts, anything, just comets uh, on the sun during the day. And I've been finding uh, a couple of, one comet on the, uh, that went by the sun my first time, but in reality, it was also my first time trying to get one. So that, I was pretty lucky for that. And the asteroid CS2017 um, is supposed to um, be traveling across the sky over a period of three to five days, I guess, and that we're supposed to be able to get it. I didn't imagine, look it up or know it, but I did get the shots of the objects that were in the proximity of the moon and one rather close to the moon. So enjoy it, guys. Thanks for looking. Uh, check out the link in the description, guys, because I'm trying to get a bigger telescope. Uh, the community is. We all are. And the scope is going to be the community scope. Anywhere you guys want me to point, I will. And we're almost there. We've raised over $3,000 in less than two months. I'm very proud of my community for that and the contributors. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Thanks for t taking the interest in the channel. I love you all. In two weeks and six days, I will be, I'll be in the sky 24/7. I want to get the most amazing things. I'm not going to let up, and I'll be filming it day and night for two months straight. Well, it's basically what I've been doing for a whole year, but now I really want to take the time to do it um, for long, excessive periods of time, three, four, five, six hours in a row, viewing the same area for one week. I don't want to do these things primitively. I want to get into it. I want to find out repetitive things that are arriving in the same areas. It's going to be long, but so interesting. I hope you'll all be along for the ride. This is the force so far, and along with everyone who subscribed and is giving me amazing feedback. It's a pleasure interacting with you all. Welcome, everyone.